Autism spectrum disorder affects one in 68 children in the U.S. Currently, there's no cure, but there is a promising new treatment being studied. It comes from something mom told us to eat as kids. This was him prior to his regression. Ryan Dwelly was a happy, normally developing baby. He'd speak in full sentences. He was clever. He was playful. But at 27 months old, he changed after a bug bite sent him to the hospital with hives. He went from typically developing, talking, um, to not making eye contact, not really using his language. Ryan's pediatrician diagnosed him with autism. It's been hard, you know. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But it's been been really hard for him and for us. His family tried medications, diet, but nothing seemed to help. Then Sharon found out about a new study that changed everything. It was unbelievable. I noticed immediately that he had, you know, um, the decrease in his vocalizations. Dr. Andrew Zimmerman says a compound found in broccoli sprouts seems to mimic something called the fever effect in the body. It's what protects cells in times of stress. Sulforaphane is one compound that uh, performs many of these functions by kickstarting or upregulating those, those functions in the cells. The idea came from a previous study showing when kids with autism get a fever, their symptoms improve. They are more sociable, they make more eye contact. In the 18-week trial, 40 young men with severe to moderate autism either got the drug or a placebo. By week four, researchers saw improvements. They were calmer. Uh, you know, uh, more sociable. By the end, half of participants had better social interactions and two-thirds improved behavior. Some made eye contact for the first time or, like Ryan, were able to go out in public. Now 17, while nonverbal, Ryan's at a special needs school where he delivers meals with Meals on Wheels. Good job.